Hey y'all, how you doing today? We're getting ready to go up and check the dam. I heard there was a big school of fish up there. So we have to go look. But the clouds look pretty cool today. I was just wondering if any of you guys ever took time to look at them clouds and see what kind of shapes they make. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? You see any shapes in them boogers? I don't know. I think they look like clouds to me. I just wondered if you guys ever checked. Hmm. Maybe later that'll look like something. Probably a lot later. <laughs> they just look like poofy clouds today, don't they? My sticky gloves laying on the ground. What's up with that? How we doing everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We got a break in the weather today. It's supposed to rain every day. It turned really cold this week. So you can see it's partly cloudy. We're looking at the clouds. Trying to make shapes out of them, but they still look like poofy clouds. I don't I guess I don't have much of an imagination, do I? That one over there looks like Dolly Parton to me right now. Yeah, look at it. Right over there. That looks like Dolly Parton. I'm just saying. But anyway, we got the bike out. Our moto vlog days are gonna getting shorter and shorter. We got to break into action. And I was talking to a guy at work today about salmon coming up the river this guy likes to fish them for them and he told me there was big schools of them in white lake that is the lake that the white river empties into and that was saturday he was fishing for them so he said they were schooled up there pretty good and they should make a run up the river so I'm hoping today is our lucky day. We just got to go check. It's supposed to rain every day and be cold. Maybe a chance of snow this weekend. Yeehaw. Snow at the end of September. Oh, we can only get so lucky. But it'd be a sad day. We have to put the motorcycle away for the winter. But well, what's a guy to do? Go from one toy to the next, right? So I thought we'd go see if we could see some fish. Take you guys for a little ride. I know you've been up there before, tired of getting seeing it, but it'll be so worth it if we could see them fish jump and get that for you guys. And we get some gas in this thing, because if I can't get it back out and there's snow on the ground, I don't want to leave the gas tank empty. That's the gas gauge right there. It's almost in the red, so we'll fill it back up it's better to leave the bike stored with a full tank so it doesn't get rusty in there and sweat and all that stuff so let's go up to hespo tucky and check out the white river dam i gotta mention one thing about the nice michigan roads here i was just cruising along trying to look at the colors and still trying to make shapes out of them clouds up there the doggone roads are so bumpy it just about flipped it sideways yeah i almost wet myself back there some of them holes are deep enough to swallow your pickup truck i think we ought to change the name of the state of michigan from the wolverine state to the pothole state that would make more sense back at the dam watch out for the kiddos how come kids can't resist the temptation to play in the mud puddle? What's up with that? They got like games they can play with. You know, they all got the Sony and all of that stuff. They could be playing Madden 2022 or something instead of playing in the mud puddle. What's wrong with the kids nowadays? Let's go check the dam. They gotta be something down there. We got 
guy is just laying there. Break at the end of my finger off the end of that cement. That's a big old salmon. He's too tired to move. Just laying there. little guy right there he's still trying right in the middle of the screen there is a salmon he's been up here like 20 minutes and that guy's just been laying there he's taking a getting a suntan waiting for his family to get here Gonna get washed off. You better swim, boy. Oh, there he goes. A limited time. Well, how you doing? Not bad, not bad. Well, we stood there like 30, 35 minutes, just that one fish down there. So they're not up here yet. Sorry to disappoint y'all, but we're just going to have to keep coming back because they're going to show up any day now and we don't want to miss it. Even if we have to drive the stinking car down here, the truck. Even if we have to drive a truck down here, we're going to come and get some picture of them stinking fish. We want to see some stinking fish. Not a wasted trip though, we'll just get some gas in the old scooter. The sun happens to come out again this week. We will be ready. We'll have full tank of gas. We'll be ready to ride up here. If we get snow, then we'll have a full tank of gas and we can just put the cover on him. Poor old bull, we had to cover him up pretty soon. That's going to be a sad day. Doggone it. I hope you all enjoy seeing my my little town of Hesbo, Tucky. Nice peaceful place to live. Usually pretty quiet and laid back. Everybody's friendly. And the police car is at the gas station. Let's go see what's going on. Somebody probably didn't wear a mask in there. I'm guessing. Everybody here is law-abiding citizens. So Mr. Policeman got something to do. Cool. Let to go say howdy to him. pick on them they won't pick on me let's get some gas here we'll do the easy way Boop. all right we're good we get P for power see P for power gotta have more power in the Harley down the hatch we go. There we go, y'all. All filled up. Twelve dollars and ninety-eight cents. We can go just as far as we can with a hundred dollars in the truck as we can at twelve dollars in this big old Harley. That's a plus. This makes me think. Even if you had a crappy day at work. 
We had a bummer day at home or whatever. Just had a bad day. At least we got to ride. We were able to get gas. We saw one fish. We come up here to see fish. There was one. No, we didn't get skunked, did we? It's all good. It just made the... Something good can happen every day if you look for it. Another thing I'd like to talk about today, maybe you guys could give me some ideas on what to do in the winter time. <laughs> A motorcycle vlog in the winter time in Michigan is probably not going to happen unless we get some of them freak days where it's really super warm we will come out and do a ride for sure as long as there's not too much road salt oh look Halloween he's already right there I don't like to get road salt on the on anything it eats it up eats up your car your truck your metal it eats everything up so but if there's not too much road salt, and we get some freakishly warm days this winter, we're going for a ride. I have this bright idea of doing a snowmobile vlog, vlog, snowmobile vlog. That was hard to say. I haven't seen any on the internet. There's a lot of guys that put GoPros on their sleds and play music but you can't really vlog I haven't seen anybody talking while they're riding a snowmobile they're just playing music usually in their videos or or talk when they park the snowmobile so the camera can pick you up but I'm gonna try to hook this microphone in the snowmobile helmet and hopefully that will work I had to waterproof it like I said before the microphone connection right here I have to take the waterproof door off of the camera to hook the wire in so if we can waterproof that part right there somehow I think I have a pretty good idea from my RC car racing days I have seen people put balloons over the electronics in an RC car to make it somewhat waterproof so I think I can put a balloon over this right here. A little bit of duct tape. And if it's not snowing too awfully hard, I believe it should work for us. And there's only one way to find out. So we get some snow. <laughs> I'm going to be the first kid on the block to try that. If it doesn't work and the camera gets full of water right there and it fries, then i guess we got a good excuse to upgrade they have a hero 9 now or something like that so we will probably end up with one of those can't have just one camera can we we got to have two got to stay up with the big guys anyways we are going to head home now because it's a little chilly i'm getting a snotty nose but we got to go for a ride i got to talk to you guys we got gas pretty good ending to a day we got to got to ride the Harley again even if it's just for a little bit it's good for me that fella there doing some four-wheeling but if you're new to my channel I appreciate you checking me out thank you very much if you hit the subscribe button at the end of the video there is a round circle trust me that's a good round circle at the end of the video with my picture in there boys riding dirt bikes they're gonna get busted you can't ride those on the road in michigan not supposed to i hope they get i hope they make a home safe because i was just like them when i was their age i was riding all over around here on a bike never got caught where was i Oh yeah, at the end of the video, the round circle with my picture in it, that is the subscribe button. I don't know how to write the word subscribe under there, so a lot of people do. I'm going to have to figure it out, I guess. Be more professional. But if you hit that button, every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. 
and you won't have to search for it or any of that stuff. It, it'll just pop up like magic for you. I appreciate you doing that for you. For all you guys have been watching me all along, we're like family. We are family, you might. YouTube family. I'm just a, a hairy leggy country boy with a job so I pay for myself and video when I can. Pretty simple. I just it's fun. Keeps my keeps me off the street, keeps me out of trouble most of the time. And I like doing it. I like it a lot. So with that, I'll leave you. I'm gonna go in and get warmed up. And we will see you guys next time. You guys can hear this, but this is called a rev bomb. Guys on Harleys like to do it in like tunnels or under bridge overpasses or even in the garage works good. That is a rev bomb. There, we're done.